Is 5G harmful for humans and the environment? 5G rollout is proceeding apace in many parts of the world. But as the rollout gathers steam, so have the number of researchers who have voiced their concerns that 5G might be harmful to humans and the environment. There are also appeals and moratoriums signed by qualified scientists and doctors in regard to the rollout of 5G technology. The reason why many people condemn 5G is the fact that 5G uses extremely high frequency waves that lie between several hundred megahertz and tens of gigahertz. Due to their high frequency characteristics, these waves do not travel long distances. Like 4G, the Federal Communication Commission has reaffirmed that radio frequency radiation exposure limits adopted in the late 1990s are still relevant. One problem with any discussion like this is the use of the term radiation. This tends to trigger images of nuclear fallout in most people's minds, which is unfortunate. As radiation merely describes the emission of energy as electromagnetic waves from a source. Your own body heat, for example, is technically a form of radiation. Ionizing radiation, like X-rays or gamma rays, which are emitted from radioactive sources which tend to lie in the exaggerate range. In fact, visible light also has a higher frequency than the range typically used for applications like 5G. That being said, some research has demonstrated that there can be harmful biological or health effects from exposure to non-ionizing electromagnetic fields. Since 5G was first announced, many articles on the potentially harmful impacts of the technology have circulated almost non-stop. That being said, the health impacts of 5G, or any EM radiation for that matter, is a matter of vibrant scientific debate and study. For example, citing a large body of research on the hazards of exposure to EMF, more than 240 scientists, who together have published more than 2,000 peer-reviewed papers on the effects of EMF, have appealed to the United Nations for urgent action to reduce EMF exposure emitting from wireless sources. These scientists also submitted a letter to the FCC asking that body to consider health risks and environmental issues before rapidly deploying fifth-generation wireless infrastructure. Others have pointed out that the FCC RFR exposure limits take into account the frequency of the carrier waves but ignore the signaling properties of the RFR. Characteristics of the signal, such as pulsing and polarization, along with the duration of exposure, may increase the impacts of the exposure. National Toxicology Program found clear evidence that exposure to cell phone RFR increased cancer and damaged DNA in rats and mice. Martin Paul, a biochemistry professor at the Washington State University, discussed the severe biological and health effects resulting from 5G stating that the current FCC guidelines are inadequate, obsolete, and in favor of the telecommunications industry. Unsurprisingly, the FCC perspective on 5G is different and is geared towards ensuring that the technology is deployed at the soonest opportunity. The improvement in connectivity is indeed going to improve our lives, but possibly at the expense of our own health in the long run. If possible, avoid using 5G phones and devices, or make use of radiation detectors to know whether you're near areas with high levels of EMF. Remember that high levels of other natural forms of radiation, like UVA and UVB from the sun, are potentially far more harmful to your health. If you are really worried about the effects of 5G, you can also sign a petition to halt the deployment of the 5G wireless network until a proper framework and guidelines considering health hazards and environmental effects are prepared. What are the benefits of 5G? Here are some of the main reasons that many countries are attempting to roll out the technology. 5G will offer reduced interference, 4G uses frequencies that are not already crowded with current devices. This is not the case with 4G and 3G devices as they use the same spectrum, causing interference or noise. 5G avoids that by using a frequency that remains currently untapped. This, again, leads to lower interference with other signals that are present in the area. 5G offers much reduced latency. 
With 5G, we can expect to see close to real-time responses between devices, which has been touted at 1 millisecond latency, whereas 4G latency stands at around 50 milliseconds. This means that there should be no issues with overloading that normally become apparent when you connect a host of internet-hungry devices to a single router. This is going to be greatly advantageous for smart homes since it allows the hosting of multiple devices that all need access to the internet from the same router.